Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today, we're going to get right into your seven-day outlook, into a twin flame connection that you have with someone in your life. Now, um, we're going to start off with your animal spirits. And this twin flame connection could be someone just coming in, someone new, someone from your past. You know, it, it can be different people. You know, you can have various connections with various people at the same time in your life, right? At different stages. So whatever the connection is, if it resonates with you, great. If not, that's also fine. It won't be for everyone. And um, this could resonate for anybody who has Scorpio energy in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or their Mars. All right. So let's pull out your animal spirits for you and your person, Scorpio, and see where you guys are at. In this reading for this connection. Wow, the phoenix and the mouse. All right, well, huh. phoenix and a mouse. Phoenix is ether spirit or spirit energy, right? So it's not a uh, moon, it's not, sorry, sorry uh, water, earth, fire, or air. It's spirit, it's ether, right? So we have five elementals in this animal spirit deck and phoenix is one of them it's associated with the first chakra okay burning away karma right um getting to a point in your life where you realize um that you want to be intentional about your life right that you want to make the decisions based on who you are what you desire intentionally <clears throat> rather than in knee-jerk reactions instinctively or habitually relying on sort of baggage and hang-ups and ways of acting that aren't really who we are, right? It's really giving up sort of uh, all of the, all of the sort of, ha all of the things that we carry about ourselves, right? Giving them up in the face of having the strength to say, no, I'm in charge of my life, who I want to be, right? And so in this way, you kind of uh, are reborn like the phoenix, right? So you rise again, but you have this new spirit. And so once you, <clears throat> once you take that kind of responsibility for your life and for the way you want to go forward with your life, um, you don't have all those hang-ups about where you came from or what you've been through or all of that, you know. So it's not a case of forgetting your past or burning the past. It's just total acceptance and rising above. It's a really, really, really strong, strong animal spirit. Mouse energy is in. Earth energy. Now, the mouse is worried about all the little details. He's running around, right? The mouse is very hectic energy. Somebody who's very, I want to say... It is earth, not air, but it is a hectic earth energy. It's being too busy with things, moving around too much, uh, being too concerned with the little things rather than uh, the bigger picture. And so mouse energy comes in, or this animal spirit is here at a time where we need to pull back and not become so overwhelmed in the details, right, of a situation. And look, <clears throat> look rather at the whole picture, right? the main parts. Why are we doing this? What is the overall objective, right? And remind ourselves of that, because sometimes you can get bogged down in the details and forget why you're trying to accomplish something or why are you even doing what you're doing. All right, guys, so Scorpio, let's get right into your reading. You and your person. We're going to see what's going on with you. Pull your cards, pull their cards, then we'll pull some clarifiers and some spirit cards and see where this connection is at over the next seven days. So show me. All right, Scorpio, you're coming in as the King of Pentacles. You see them in the Eight of Wands. You desire a Wheel of Fortune. What needs to happen is the Hermit. Interesting. They're coming in as the Page of Cups. They see you as the lovers. They desire the King of Wands and what needs to happen is Nine of Swords. So don't worry about it from their point of view. What's going on here, Scorpio? At the bottom of the deck, we have a three of wands. Again, waiting, 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 waiting. Somebody is showing a lot of patience in this connection. Three of wands is a card for virtue. Patience, the ultimate one. <laughs> patience is really one of the ultimate, I would say, the ultimate virtue in a lot of ways. Okay. Um, what's going on here? All right, what's going on here? 
You're coming in as King of Pentacles. They're coming in as Page of Cups. Now you've been getting. I think you. It was you that's been getting this Three of Wands for a while now. But let's let us just see. You're coming in. You're King of Pentacles. So you're the one making all the money. You're the one very very uh, successful, industrious. You're busy. You might be uh, right now really breaking it in with a couple jobs. You may have your own business, right? You're in the process of kind of like building your your empire in a lot of ways, but certainly. This next seven-day period for you, Scorpio, is all about making that money, right? <clears throat> Taking charge and making that money. Um, Page of Cups is how they come in. So they're feeling flirtatious. They're feeling like uh, they want to, they wanna, you know, have some, in, some affection, some time, some intimate time. They're moving towards somebody. If they're coming in this cup of, Page of Cups, they're certainly throwing their, putting their cup out there and saying, hey, Right? Take a look. Right? So this person may be pursuing you, Scorpio. Okay? They may be pursuing you indeed. They may be, you know, you seemingly, I can look ahead, right? You are the object of their affection. So it may be that over this next seven-day period, they begin to let you know this. They begin to sort of be like, hey, you want to have coffee? You want to get together? They may start texting you, contacting you, Page of Cups. Really getting over the fear of, of connecting with you and showing you that they're interested. Now, how do you guys see each other? Here it gets interesting. For you, you see them as an eight of wands. So it's kind of hectic. You're not really sure what you feel about them. Or you're certainly not sure necessarily what they feel about you either. Eight of wands can be a lot of information coming in. It can be overwhelming. Okay? So in a lot of ways, um, I'm not saying that you like them, don't like them, love them, don't love them. But there's a feeling of being overwhelmed here with these with this individual and you desiring definite boundaries here. Right? They see you as the lovers. They want to be with you. You know? This is a soulmate card, the lovers. But the lovers is a journey, right? And they see that there is a journey here with you. Right? They see that there is a journey here with you. Um, and I want to say that they're willing to take it. Okay? But um, it's an interesting. It is interesting that you will come in with eight of wands because for you, their energy is a little bit too much. You don't, you know what I mean. Their energy is a little bit too much, and it's not that you don't like it because Scorpio, you love intensity. But for you, this this is a little bit uh, overwhelming with their fire. They may be extremely fiery people in in in, in, in any way, right? Anyway, uh, irregardless. So, what do you both desire? The Wheel of Fortune and they desire King of Wands. Interesting. So, for you, you're kind of wanting the right moment to come up here, right? In this connection, because this is what you desire in this connection. You're kind of wanting the right moment to come in. You've got Three of Wands over here. It makes me feel like, Scorpio, you're still waiting for something to happen. You're still waiting for some kind of, like, I want to say some sign to come in, a sign to show that this union is blessed or that there is luck here. You're definitely waiting for an opportunity, and you're wanting an opportunity here. They desire a king of wands. So their energy is, gosh, you know, they, they know what they want, right? They have a real vision um, of what they want here. And again, they're coming off as very, very fiery, right? I want to say to a certain degree, they're also desiring that in you. Right? They want to see you kind of like show up. Right? It could be that you haven't been so far. Right? As it is, it feels like three of wands here energy. Like you're pulling back certainly with these boundaries that you're wanting to put in over the next... And this is the next seven days. But it's like what they desire. King of wands is very actionary. King of wands is somebody who acts, who says, look. You know, they do. They do. They show you what they want by doing, and they accomplish things, and they get it right. So there's an interesting thing here where they're wanting a little bit more from you, I'm thinking. And I'm certainly feeling that. What needs to happen? I'll put some clarifiers to make sure. Because here we go ahead and we see that for them, they need to get over some anxiety. There's an anxiety here from them. And although they're coming into you, I feel like they come to you and they're, they're, the flirtation is there. But clearly you are very dominant here. And they desire a king of wands. So it's like, to me, 
I feel like although they're coming into you, they're really looking to you to be the dominant one. And if you're not giving it to them, they're having a lot of anxiety, but they need to get over their fears. It could be that you are sensing some of their fears and that is what is overwhelming you as well, Scorpio, because you have an ability to sense people's emotions and feelings. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, apart from Pisces, I think you're the highest... High, you know, as far as the signs that have that ability to really know what people are going through. So even though this person may be hiding, they're coming into you, they're flirting and all of that. Uh, they certainly see, you, they feel love with you, right? They want to be with you. They may be hiding, trying, thinking that they're hiding their insecurities and their anxieties, but you're seeing them and they really need to sort of, and from this, from their point of view, this is what they need to kind of get over. And I feel here also that just them having this anxiety is, is what is also overwhelming you and maybe giving you a bit of anxiety, right? What needs to happen for you, Hermit Energy? Get into yourself to see what it is that you're really wanting here, right? Take time off for you and certainly be focused on uh, more of an internal, because Hermit Energy also is Virgo Energy. Um, you know, you're going to have to work out for yourself also kind of what is it that you want here? Why are you waiting for a sign, three of wands? What is it exactly that you want here? Right? Uh, because I, I'm not feeling that you, you want to say goodbye, but at the same time, it almost seems as though you're not sure what you want. Let's get some clarity here. It's interesting reading. Um... <clears throat> Phoenix energy is there. So again, Phoenix, remember, taking responsibility, intentional responsibility to, to live a life of dharma, to live a life that is actionary, where you are present and making the decisions from a clear-headed, present mind rather than from sort of baggage, hang-ups, you know, kind of toxic behavior that we just kind of habitually perform, you know. Um, so it's reminding you to be very present, Scorpio, here. Make, don't, don't be, um, you know, waiting here for this Wheel of Fortune. I understand that you want this sign, and you, you're waiting for a bit of good luck to come in, but also you have to make your own luck. And, it, you know, at some point, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what the clarifiers say. There's your Ace of Pentacles. There's the money coming in. Wow. Here are fact. So commitment is the issue. Queen of Swords and Six of Pentacles. The commitment is the issue, okay? You're overwhelmed by the sense of commitment that may be involved here. Or certainly, whether you're, you, you may not even necessarily be overwhelmed, but you're definitely like, there's mixed emotions here. There's mixed messaging here about the commitment, okay? The only way over that is to talk about it. Queen of Swords, be very honest with who you are to each other and talk about it so that you have this clarity, right? Wheel of Fortune is there. Um, again, it, it's in a position of desire. So I know you, it's, it's a feeling that you want this, this, this uh, relationship connection, what have you, to be blessed in some way, of course, to be for, fortuitous. Um, but again, there has to be intent, intentionality here. You have to make the right choices for you. You have to be, you're the one making the choices here. So honestly, talking about it is going to be very important if you are both able to do that. Um, Six of Pentacles comes in. There is a sharing aspect. There is a generous aspect here, but there is success coming in also, right? Ultimately, there's a feeling of success and resonating up for both of you if you can kind of get this communication issue under control. Ace of Pentacles is there. Somebody has absolutely had a beautiful new opportunity to make money, move, move into a great house, something like that, certainly. But there's a money-making aspect here, which is already blessing this union, which is coming out successful here. Talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. If the commitment issue is not really an issue, you know, you'll realize that when you talk about it. Because actually, actually at the end of the day, Scorpio, you, you do commit. You love to commit, right? Uh, you, that's the kind of relationship that you want. So it can be that you're just uh, mis maybe getting miscommunication with your person, as they may also be wanting commitment, Right? Again, with Queen of Swords to come in, it just makes me feel, and that Eight of Wands, it makes me feel like there's just a misunderstanding here that could be cleared up by talking, right? All right, guys, let's get, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm on my fifth reading of the day. Let's get um, 
spirits of darkness and light out. Let's see what kind of spirits are impacting this union. Yeah, this is really, this is interesting, you know, it's interesting. Remember the bigger picture also, mouse energy comes in to remind us, look at the bigger picture also, instead of getting caught up in the little sort of nitty gritty details about something. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit of the crystal ball, spirit of the dog, and spirit of the woods. Wow. Well, here we go. Spirit of the crystal ball. There's a feeling of, yes, seeing the future here and knowing how this is going to come out, right? Um, spirit of the crystal ball. Watch out for signs, you know. A spirit of the dog, friendship, companionship, I'm dying. There is a loyalty here that you guys both perhaps need to see for each other. Spirit of the woods, voices and goblins, nightmares. Again, voices, nightmares, things that are not real. So that leads to misunderstanding. There is definitely something here about this connection that is a little bit where the energy is just not quite locked in. Again, it's communication, Queen of Swords. It's communication. You have to talk about it. Things may not be as they seem. Certainly, Eight of Wands, it's, it's a boundary and a strength card, but it's also a card that reminds us that sometimes people come across a certain way we are unable to judge what, what all that means. And this we, sometimes we immediately put boundaries in, but we also need to communicate so that we know what kind of boundaries are needed, if at all, or if there is just a misunderstanding here. All right, guys, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it at that. This is your reading for the next seven days. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And that's it. Check out your other readings, your Shadow Flame readings, or your monthly, which may be up already. If it isn't, it will be up this weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Bye-bye now.